Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm going to teach you how to use autoresponders in WordPress. If you've ever bought something from a major reseller online, you've received an order receipt by email. Unsurprisingly, this email wasn't sent by an employee that sees every order and just pumps out emails all day. It was sent using an autoresponder, and it is surprisingly easy to do the same with your own website using formidable forms. Last week, we learned about conditional logic with my Wedding to Remember website by creating an RSVP form. Let's go back into that form so we can automatically send emails to respondents of my form using automation and conditional logic. We'll add an email field to the form and then update the form to save it. Then we'll go into the form settings. We'll click actions and notifications and what we want to do is send email. What's very handy here is Formidable Forms already knows all of our fields and has short code for each one. We want to send an email to the user that filled out the RSVP, so we'll delete the admin email from the to field and put in the new email field we created. We'll change our subject to a wedding to remember, and then we'll add our message. Dear, and now we'll choose the name field. Thank you for RSVPing to a wedding to remember. The marriage of what's-his-face and so-and-so happening at some point in the future, which I now forget. You chose, and now we'll add our meal selection field as your meal selection. You can also add conditionals in your message. For example, here we'll say that if are you bringing a guest equals yes, we want to add more to the message. We'll click that and then type our message in between the code. And we'll use the guest name field and the guest meal selection field in this part of the message. You can also add overall conditionals to the message itself. For example, we'll click conditional logic down here and have it not do the action of sending an email if the user said they weren't attending. You can even add greater automation to your emails. We'll have our emails send the next day rather than immediately after they submit. But you could send multiple emails as reminders and then cap them so you don't get marked as spam. And that's it. That's how easy it is to send email autoresponders with formidable forms. Subscribe for more WordPress tips, and I'll see you next time.